Hi, my name is Joey Cardo. I'm the technical manager for EpiRock Surface and Exploration Drilling. In this segment, we're going to discuss how to check accumulator pressure using the EpiRock Charge Kit. The first step is to make sure we have all of our PPE. After that, we're going to remove the cap from the valve. We're going to check that the charging device is in the closed position, and then we're going to install the fitting. They have check valves internally, so there shouldn't be any leakage when connecting it. If there is, that means there's something wrong with the valve. Hand tightened is fine. We don't need any tools for this. Once the valve is attached, we're going to move to the case and check a few things. We're going to make sure that the accumulator bleed valve is fully closed so that we don't leak all of the charge out while we're checking. We're going to make sure that the gauge is powered on and reading zero. After that, we're going to open the valve on the accumulator charge end. We can then read the gauge. At this point, if we're satisfied with the reading that we have, we can simply close the valve and remove. Proper accumulator charge specification is important. We want to make sure that it's charged to the correct values, not too high and not too low. If you have any questions about this, feel free to contact your local EpiRock Service Center or distributor partner.